welcome to your international flight from Tokyo to the grand old United States of America. I'm so happy to be going back. I mean, uh, well, I'm a, I'm a flight attendant, so I travel places all the time, and I will continue working as a flight attendant for a very long time. Now before we get going on our flight, I am going to check around the cabin and make sure that everyone is ready for departure. Well, hello there. How are you? You look very comfy. You are in first class after all. Well, I could be comfy too in first class. Sir? Um, sir, uh, I think you're in the wrong seat. No, no, no. Uh, let me see your ticket. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. This is clearly a misprint for an economy ticket. I'm going to have to ask you to move seats for the time being. Oh, the airline will give you a full refund for your inconveniences. Okay, okay, you just pack up right here um, with your luggage. Okay, okay. I have a seat now. Uh, um, well, it's time for the safety instructions. <clears throat> and if everyone would just listen up, I will be doing the safety instructions for the first class members while the less important flight attendants will be doing it for those in the back. Uh, um, so, you'll want to buckle your seat belts, okay? Um, in case we crash into another plane. I don't really know why these are necessary. Oh, they're for turbulence, so you don't get thrown onto the ceiling in case of heavy turbulence. I see. Your body would just smack me, so, okay. Well, not to worry, we won't have turbulence today because I checked and it is just too cold for birds, so there's just no way we'll have any. Oh, next, if the cabin loses all air, things will catapult from the ceiling. You want to take this, put it on your face, and strap the elastic thingy around your head. Now, once you have that on your face, you want to breathe in as hard as you can to get enough air for yourself before it depletes entirely. Put your mask on and not your neighbors. It is going to be slightly like the survival of the fittest if this occurs. Mask on, <sighs> breathe in. Okay, so there are exits on the plane and there's also bathrooms. There's a fancy big bathroom for everyone in first class. I tested it out myself. It's for rich people only. So I'll be watching those uh, not seated around me at the moment. If you try to come up and use my bathroom, I will... Okay. I will say the bathroom in the back is low on toilet paper. So I'm going to bring in a little something something. Sorry about that. The floor will light up if I press a button. And you have air conditioning. You can also press a button if you need another flight attendant. That is not me. In case of a water evacuation, there are life vests somewhere. And when you put those on, you'll want to inflate them so that you those of you who apparently didn't learn how to swim might have a chance of survival. Okay, if you see a shark, don't look it directly in the eyes. In fact, you'll want to direct a punch right at the nose. Mm, yes, okay. Now, in case of an incident where we all end up stranded on an island together, you will submit to me as your group leader and rations will be controlled by an appointed government. Trust me, that's 
the only way to get out of it alive. Now, <clears throat> prepare for takeoff. Make sure your tray tables are attached to your seat and that you are sitting face forward. Here we go. I'm going to go sit down. attendant, I have to perform some first class duties for you. Would you care for a hot towel? Of course you would. Mmm. Very warm. insinuate anything, but we're in some close quarters here, and deodorant just doesn't, it doesn't count as a shower. Now, this is Love, Beauty, and Planet, Coconut Water, and Mimosa Flower, Radical. radically refreshed. Very good. What else do I have for you? Do you have any requests? Any orders? Any... I don't know. Do you want to play cards? Okay. Okay, great. Let me grab them. hold them. A little, a little bet. A little gambling. Go fish. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna shuffle away. Cut the deck. I like a good These aren't really the normal cards, but it'll work for what we're doing. Do you have any fours? Hand them over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you very much. Your turn. Oh, I get to go again? <laughs> okay. Do you have any threes? I don't believe you. Are you sure? Can I just take a look over your hand? Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if you were being trustworthy. Okay. No, I don't have any two. Oh, I get to pick up one too, right? Oh! Do you have any twos? <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Oh. Gosh, I'm dropping everything. One second. It seems like somebody needs me. May I offer you a complimentary beverage? Today we have some very nice unsweetened black tea and I will open it for you and since you're in first class it is mandatory that everything is served in a fancy glass. You don't want I see. Okay, well, this is mine now. Perhaps something a bit stronger. Oh, okay. I see where you're going with this. Let me rustle around and see what we got. Okay. This was at the bottom of the cart. Seems like they had a little bit of leftovers from Christmas time. Hmm, what do you think? Oh, it's Italian. You know what they say about Italians. Alright, well, you will have to pop this discreetly. Okay. Now, don't tell anybody that I gave you this, alright? Take this and you don't tell anybody where you got it. And I'll be back in a gym. Yeah. I'm just gonna look the other way. Hi. How are ya? Okay. Now, since I did something for you, would you mind doing something for me? Um where do you live? Do you have a roommate, perhaps? Looking for somebody fun, exciting to live with? Perhaps somebody who um, maybe would provide love and joy into your life and wouldn't have to pay rent? Do you know anybody that might? Okay, well, all right, well, I'll figure something out. Well, can I read you something that I've been writing instead? It's a good little story. Oh, no, it is. Trust me. Oh, I thank you. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to get in pretty close because don't want anybody else to hear it. It's a little bit uh, personal. But everybody in the story is purely based on fiction and not real life. Okay, 
it's in my journal and um, I'm just going to come in here and read it to you oh my gosh why are you so cold and dry Here, let me grab something for you. We have little kits and such here underneath the cart. I've got a blanket for you. Why didn't you say something? Oh, goodness. Gotta do everything around here. Let me turn your air conditioning off. Okay. And let's get you, let's get you wrapped up, okay? Goodness me. Now, this is a very plush blanket that, um, just kind of, you can actually keep it if you don't tell anybody that you have it. Okay, here, I'm just gonna wrap you up in this. Okay. Just get that all around your shoulders. There you go. That's a little comfier, isn't it? And I got my little... Travel care kit. That'll take care of your skin and jiffy. Oh, first we got the hand sanitizer. Trust me, you're gonna want to use this. It's clean. This is not get cleaned. Put your hands out. Oh, good lifeline. Now wrap your hands together. Sanitized. Next, we got um, a little lip moisturizer. Now this, you just kind of want to pick a little bit on there. You can actually just swipe it on your finger and put it on your lips like you just take this, put it on your lips, okay? I never thought that I would have to teach somebody how to moisturize, but here we are. This is for your eyes. I guess what a lot of people don't know about international travel is that being on a plane for a long time can make you quite dry. And so... You really want to take care of yourself. This one you can actually do morning and night. Since this is an overnight um, plane trip, I'm going to want to see you using this in the morning. And they can... We got our moisturizer and this is going to be very very hydrate okay oh I just sanitized don't worry a little tune. The ball goes, ball go, ball go, ball go. Oh, honey, much better. This is my little moist kit. I the name is, is in progress. Are y'all ready to hear my story now? Oh, it's a good one. It's riveting, it's long, and if you fall asleep during it, that's okay too. I understand. It is getting pretty late. I need to get one of those blankets myself. Take off this uniform, blend in with the crowd. All right. 
I'm going to just whisper it, if that's okay to you So that there's nobody around to hear it And, um, with all this plain noise I basically, you know, would have to shout to have you hear the whole thing So, is this okay? There once was a princess named Daisy was always better than the other people who tried to tell her what to do. She tried to tell them that what they were doing was wrong, but they refused to give in and forced Princess to perform tasks that were, quite honestly, beneath her. So one day, Princess decided to change jobs. She had a good time meeting new people every day at the office, but she had outgrown her duties and was tired of her boss. She went and joined a luxury hotel chain where her fantastic skills of gathering people's information came quite in handy. She did have to speak a little bit oddly in order for the southerners to be able to understand her, but she had a good time. After that job, um, ended, she wandered the world with her very arrogant and annoying acquaintance who did pay for all of her flights and food, but annoying nonetheless. She ended up at a magical place called Comic-Con, where she was able to get hands-on practice selling valuables. And what is more valuable then love because from comic-con she found her dream job matchmaking the most lovely people she had ever met so lovely in fact that she was heartbreakingly fired for being unprofessional with so much experience under her belt it was easy to find a temporary job at a halloween store Although, it must be noted that Princess is much more cute than scary. Halloween came and went, and Princess was yet again trying to eat that wheat. Unfortunately, nobody was hiring, because quite honestly, it was just a bad time in her life, and everyone was asking for degrees. So, she went back to her acquaintances, old place of work, and without a degree, she thought that she could do the job even better than the professionals. So, all she needed was a little bit of equipment and a little bit of alone time. So, um, doing a cranial nerve exam isn't even that hard, so she started taking clients without telling anyone uh, until she was found out it did not look good. Legal repercussions. Her only choice was to flee the country, and uh, she wasn't going to go to Canada. <laughs> so, Mexico it was. She got a job sweeping hair at a salon. But that was too boring after the first four hours. So she decided to cut hair on her own. She did a wonderful, wonderful job until she accidentally cut the wrong person's hair and got tattled on. In Mexico, with no job and no money, after a weekend of high shelf tequila, she needed a plan to get back to the States. She had cheap. Um, I mean, her acquaintance's mail forwarded to her and received a very interesting box along with instructions to do a sponsored video. The amount was just enough to get her across the border with pennies to spare. She hitchhiked for five minutes and was picked up by a nice man 
and was on his way to get a bite to eat at the Tex Steakhouse. After stuffing her face at the all-you-can-eat buffet, which turned out to be the leftovers of a party's table, she applied for the open waitressing position. It was a wonderful job, but that low life, Kimmy, had to go tattling again about me, I mean, princess, stealing her customers. It's not princess's fault, she is much more charming and fun and a waitressy. So after that, princess dabbled in some weird internet trend, and then got into a lick more trouble doing back alley tattoos. You know how it goes. One thing leads to another. So she hopped a plane again to get to the mystical island of Japan. Working at the best little cafe in the whole world. The princess loved working there. She loved the food most. But unfortunately, all good things come to an end. And she was fired for no reason whatsoever. She had blown all her money on figurines and slot machines, so she was once again forced to take a random job at a random convenience store on a random street in a random town. But Princess can never catch a break, and she started noticing some of the numbers not quite adding up at the cash register. This, I may note, had nothing to do with the fact that she was also taking some tips for herself, because she deserved those. But her boss was crooked. The money was being laundered. And so Princess got bought out by the police in order to give them insider info. But you already know that, don't you, Breezy? I gotta go. Enjoy your flight. We'll be landing in 11 hours.